Hey everyone, this is Amy from the Home Office. Uh, I do social media for our global and North America pages. And we're really excited today because Aiden has so graciously offered to do a Facebook no. Live with everyone. And he does, he does know how to use it, but he's pretending like he doesn't. So here you go. Here's Aiden. Hi, everybody. Um, we're back on Facebook Live. Apparently, the, the last time we did this, it was, uh, it was pretty popular, I hear. And so they've asked me to do another tour of, of the office. So if you happen to be on the one before, um, thanks for joining us. I hope you had a good time. Um, and what we're going to do this morning is to uh, show you around. But I understand that uh, as part of this Facebook Live thing, you're supposed to take a few minutes to allow people to get on the call, get situated, and all that sort of stuff. So we'll do that for a moment as people um, start joining. Um, I'm glad you had a chance to um, uh, to see Amy briefly, even though, hey, Amy, actually, you can come back here because there was no one on the call when you were saying hi. So tell them a little bit about what you do at Forever, but don't point that way because you can read my wall. And those that know um, uh, my office here, I'm going to give you a quick look because you can see that we get something really cool here. See that? Draw the walls. Now, when I was young, they were we told we couldn't draw on the walls, but here at Forever, we can uh, draw on the walls. I'm just reading it to make sure there's nothing on there from for new product or a new uh, policy that we might be working on that we, we don't want you guys to know about just yet. Not that we don't want you to know about it, it's just that we're not ready to announce it just yet. So anyway, Amy's going to say hi Hello. and tell you a little bit about what she's doing. Yes. Go, Amy. Um, so I do social media for the global page, the North America pages. Um, I basically get to do all of the fun stuff and show you guys everything that we do here at the home office, announce new products, all the fun uh, marketing things that you guys get to see. Um, happen online. Nice to meet you all. That's it? <laughs> That's else? all you do? And I get to work with Aiden. Yes, ma'am. Yay. He's like my boss's boss, so it's, it's... great. <laughs> Uh-oh, something's wrong. Something isn't working, it says on their reporter problem. Uh -oh. Hey, so what, um, um, what's your strategy? My strategy? The, whenever we do these things, they always ask me those strategic questions. Sure. So what are we planning to do um, with Twitter, with Instagram, Snapchat's big now, I yes. hear, even though I don't know how to use it yet because yes. it's so flipping complicated. Um, so we have different strategies for different social channels. So I guess this is ve very relevant for your business too. Um, but on Facebook, we are more of our, our big announcements, our big ideas. Is that's where we put a lot of our huge things. Um, on our Facebook page. Twitter is more of the you know quick snippets. We like to um, announce cool things. We do some polls. We do um, some news articles that go to our Forever uh, news page. If you haven't checked that out, um, foreverliving.com. We have some great articles that come out there, um, including a Rex letter, a Greg letter, that, you know, talking straight from them about um, different topics every month. Um, our Instagram page, we love to show off uh, all of the cool behind the scenes of what happens here at the home office, behind the scenes at events. Um, if you aren't following us there, please do. It's a really cool place to see um, everyone around here um, just behind the scenes and doing their normal things. Um, and Snapchat is so much fun because we love to kind of do the behind the scenes at events too on Snapchat. Um, this year we're really excited about showing off Eagle Manager from behind the scenes, so I hope there's lots for you guys to see there. Are we doing Snapchat this year, Lynn? Um, we're going to try. Um, unfortunately, I won't be at EMR, but uh, <laughs> but um, there will be uh, someone else there who's hopefully, and then you guys are in charge of posting all of your awesome things to Snapchat so that we can see it and everyone around the world can see it too. Do we have a hashtag for um, EMR? Of course, EMR16, use that and um, post everything that you're doing. Post getting ready for EMR. Um, we want to see it all and we want to share it all. So if you're lucky, you'll be featured on our Instagram and our Twitter. We'll retweet you if you shout out to us. Um, and definitely, definitely share everything via Snapchat. There you go. Now on Snapchat, do, you, do we follow each other on that? Is this some, do we have an official Snapchat handle? We do. It's, it's the same, Forever Global HQ. You can find us at all of our social media channels are Forever Global HQ. Um, add us as a friend. I follow back, so you can send us snaps anytime you'd like. There you go. Anything else you want to tell the guys? Um, have fun and enjoy the home office. All right. We love you, Amy. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. 
All right, guys, so apparently it was quite popular last time we did this for you guys to have a look around our offices. So you're in my office here, and this is kind of show you a little bit about it. Um, this is where we do a lot of talking, just sitting right here. And it's incredible how much um, informal discussions goes on here at the office. Every, um, every policy, everything that we do starts off probably either in here or in... Um, I'll show you in a minute the boardroom. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware, but uh, we're all best friends, uh, actually, um, that are involved in the leadership of the company here, and we've, we've grown up together. We've known each other for decades, and, and that helps out a lot in the discussions that we have because there's a lot of trust and a lot of experience, as you can imagine. Um, I think that the, every one of us has been involved for over 20 years with Forever. And most of us actually haven't been involved in any other company either. And that's not saying anything about any other company. It's just that, you know, that we believe that we have got lucky and we got the best the first time around. So that, that helped out a lot. So, okay. okay. Um, here's so all of the pictures you see on the wall are, are pictures that I've taken um, from different events. Um, I love the events that we have. And you can see that was the one from London. And, and uh, this is one where we did the World Rally over in Greece. Um, this is my... Um, um, some memories that I have and, and obviously we can't go through everything that's in there but um, let me have a quick look for you I don't know if this is interesting for you guys or not but um, like for example see that footballer uh, Philippe um, the managing director of uh, um, France he bought that um, for me when we were in Morocco and my children were playing in a, a championship game and we missed it and so he bought that for me as a, a memory of that. Uh, there's the beads there from our um, rally in Hawaii. Um, this, this piece right here I got as a gift um, it, from the Czech Republic. Um, and that, so I keep all of these, uh, these gifts. The, the, that football there was from the, the uh, uh, European Championship when Greece run in 2004. Good job to the Greeks. Um, and the rest is just stuff while well, you'll recognize these mugs and we'll show you some more of those in just a few minutes and uh, the stuff that I collect up here all of the yellow babies that we've launched from around our different events that we kind of keep those as a memory I have some very special stuff in here too is and one of my favorite pieces that I have is right here and you see that piece right there that was given to me by a Palestinian guy um, that came over um, across the wall one night when we were in Jerusalem um, for a meeting and it, it was pretty amazing to have him with us and and to obviously we all know the divide and the conflict that goes over there and, and it was wonderful to see him come across and how forever has impacted his life um, so that was a big thing for us here's some of the photographs that represent the decades that we've been together um, I don't know where the first one is probably this one right here would be about 15 years ago and that's what we look like 15 years ago. That's Garen on the right, and that's Dusty Green. Um, those of you from the UK will know Dusty Green. He was the guy that started the operations in the UK, and tragically we lost him to cancer about uh, oh, probably eight, nine years ago now. And that good-looking guy there with glasses on is me. And don't look anything like that right now, but there you go. So that's a quick look. Oh, a jeepney from our trip to the Philippines. Um, so you can see that we uh, love the places we go the people that we visit. Um, some more photographs here. Just representations of uh, you know our trips around the world. And uh, some of you may know that I was in the Royal Navy in Great Britain. And uh, that uh, ship there is HMS Victory, which is just kind of a, a shout out to uh, my time when I was in the Navy. And then that's the rest of it. So there you go. I hope you didn't stay up late to see my office. And there's the stuff on the wall that I don't think you can read yet. Now, I have a very special guest uh, just walking right by here, and you guys might recognize him. I don't know for sure, but see if you recognize this guy just wandering around the office. There he is. Say hi, Rex. Hi, Jane. This is another one of those Facebook Lives. They wanted to do another one. They enjoyed the last one so much, so we got so many requests that the, they wanted to say hi to you. So Great. How is everybody? I think everyone's doing good. Everyone's saying hi. I got one here that says hi from Prague, hi from uh, Sligo in, in Ireland and they're all coming through. What are you working on today, Rex? Man, so many place, places and so many things, and uh, uh, I'm helping the boss. She's uh, uh, and in Asia, and uh, and I've been out there for, for uh, four weeks now. 
Wow. And, uh, and she's uh, uh, been in uh, Thailand and uh, 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 many, many of those around, in and around there, and uh, including uh, she's uh, uh, in uh, Vietnam and had two, uh, two meetings, Hanoi and wow. Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, with the distributors there, and they're uh, very excited. And then uh, she's uh, off this afternoon to India, and she'll uh, she'll be meeting, uh, having three uh, different cities in India that she's uh, working on. So, and India, watch out for them. They are growing fast, doing great. Wow. So business is going well in India. Very good. Oh, excellent. I mean, you know, it's, it's, yeah, we'll be. Everybody will be surprised when the numbers come out this year. Awesome, awesome. Well, I've got a couple of saying hi from London here. Sandra Garcia says hi from London. Fiona hi, Wright Sandra. says Fiona Wright says hi. Aiden and Rex love from Weymouth in Dorset. Hello, Rex from Amy says uh, hoping I get to meet you one day. Love from Amy, the manager of the business support in the UK office. Hi, Amy. So thanks uh, for helping everybody out. There you go. So what's the plans for um, the weekend? You got some good plans? Yes, uh, uh, we got cattle sale coming up up uh -huh. the, the, uh, the ranches, and uh, uh, hopefully we're going to get rain and get some more grass, and uh, and because the cows like tall green grass. Absolutely, absolutely. And, uh, and so. Uh, We've got uh, plenty of, uh, of good things going and uh, uh, lots of football. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, football to start here. Dominique Kipps on here. She just said, hi, Rex. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Hi, Dominique. How you doing? Um, Sarah from Norfolk says hi. Hi, if, Sarah. So any questions you want to ask Rex, just write them and we'll see if we can get an answer for you. So, Rex, I know that every one of them would uh, love to ask you is, is uh, your tip for success. Have you got something you could share with them? Not to put you on the spot, but uh, of course, the, uh, we all got tips and we all got good ones at work, and uh, and I try them all. So, uh, uh, and of course, uh, 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 my philosophy is: uh, uh, the more you help some other people, the more they'll help you build your business bigger. And uh, and our uh, our marketing plan is the very best. And uh, and uh, all of you have seen the great sense of, uh, of uh, pride that our FBOs have in uh, helping other people build a business of their own. And so uh, I just say to you, uh, remember that the power of forever is the power of love. And you love all the people you, you contact and meet and make sure you tell them about forever and tell them about our great products. Oh, and, uh, fantastic. And the main thing is try them, use them, and you'll find great uh, joy and uh, happiness and better health from it. Yeah, perfect advice. Hello here from Jennifer from Augusta in Georgia, apparently. Georgia. She good. lives in a nice place. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite quote? That's a hard one to answer. <laughs> favorite quote, so many. They're huh? all favorite. Yeah. Yes, that's right. And anything that's positive and good report, I like it. and. Uh, I think it'll help uh, help all of us. So uh, you keep telling me yours, and I'll uh, come, come back with more from me. Excellent. So here's an interesting one. Your proudest moment. My proudest moment. That's a tough question, huh? Well, I should say uh, uh, I, every moment with forever is, is makes me proud, and especially to see all of the FBOs, all of you, be able to uh, earn a big bonus, a big bonus check on the chairman's bonus because uh, uh, we set up the program to help you and help others and as you help others they help you to uh, be uh, more dynamic and more uh, self-reliant and we want you to have a, a great uh, family uh, treasury to help educate your children and to uh, help others get what they want in life. And that's better health and a better lifestyle. Love y'all and good luck. 
see you soon. Thanks, Rex. Now, they've got one question. I know you know the answer to this one really easy. It's uh, what's your favorite product? A lot of people asking that. Of course, it's aloe vera gel. Uh -huh. I drink it two or three times a day, and uh, it uh, keeps me healthy, happy, and uh, it, it, it's uh, the lifeblood of forever. Absolutely. We've got some more highs coming in from Serbia. Um, you've got an invite to come stay with Jennifer out in Augusta. She Augusta, says you can come Georgia. stay. So maybe we'll go out there in, was it April for the, for the, um, the Masters maybe one day? Hey, that'd be great. That'd be wonderful. Um, a, a hi from Greece. Um, Lee Pofon from Malaysia says hi from Wales. Monique says hi from Wales. Hello come from London. We've got them from all over the world here. Great. Poland. Dzień dobry from Poland, Rex. Dzień dobry to all you <laughs> Polish folk. Love you and uh, love all of you. I wish I had time to sit and chat with each one individually and one day I will so I'll be over to see you and we love you and just uh, just keep helping people thank you thanks Rex we appreciate it well done bye bye thank you so there you have it you got to have a quick chat with Rex and that's fantastic see you. now Rex do you mind in a few a little bit later if we show them around the executive area too give them a real tour we'll show them around okay thanks a lot boss we'll see you in a bit bye. See, what a treat, everyone. See, that's what happens. And a lot of people ask us when we travel around the world, is Rex still involved? And of course, every day he's around, he still runs the company, still does everything, and he wanders around, chats with you, and, and just like that, you just run into him in the hallway. So it's a real pre privilege for all of us. I just saw on the high from Morecambe. I haven't been to Morecambe since I was a little boy, so... Um, Great to see you guys. Now, has anyone lived in South End on Sea? Make sure you say hi because my son just moved to South End on Sea. Just found that out this morning. So um, I want you to uh, let me know that you're there and you can take some product around to him because he's run out of tooth gel, I hear. So someone from um, Arizona, uh, Dusica, good to see you from Ireland. Now, I've just wandered into another office right next door to mine, and this is the office of Gary Shreve. Gary Shreve is our, the boss of everything from plant to product to use. So all of our logistic management, all of the movement of product, um, the growing of the product, the fields, everything, it falls under Gary's. And so I want him to say hi to you. I know that you all know him. Um, hi to Gary, and he's going to tell you a little bit about what he does. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? It's uh, great to be with you again. As Aiden mentioned, what uh, we look after is all the operational side of the business. As he mentioned, from plant to product to you. Matter of fact, I'm just going over my presentation right here for uh, EMR. Can I show them uh, that? Yeah, yeah, show them. This is our latest baby at uh, Forever Nutraceuticals. It's our stick pack machine. Let me get a bit closer. Um, I don't think they can see it's that. It's actually one. a video. You want me to show it to you? Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me get right. Tell me when you're ready. All right, hit it. So what you can see here is uh, it's actually packed in RG Plus at the time. It comes down through the chutes, fills up in the meantime, gets cut there, comes down to conveyor and comes out. The one thing we're missing right now that we're waiting to still come in is the conveyor that will take it from here to the packaging side. Right now it's just going into some bins and unfortunately we have to pack it by hand. But we made a uh, significant investment in this machine because before we had to outsource the packing of it. We would make up the material for the RG for the fiber, then we'd have to ship it to a company that would have to pack it for us because we didn't have that technology, that machine in house. Unfortunately, it was about a 12 week lead time. Um, throw two weeks of testing on it, now you're up to 14 weeks. Throw shipping it around the world, now you're another three to six weeks. So we would have to be able to forecast and predict 20, 25 weeks into the future what you guys would be selling yeah. and uh, unfortunately oftentimes we weren't able to do that as efficiently as we would have liked so Rex told us go out let's get our own and that way we could control it uh, as you guys know we love to be vertically integrated love to be able to control it ourselves and that way not only do we control the flow and the supply but also the quality of it so we're uh, very excited about this we have a few other surprises on the way that I'm going to show you at EMR uh, some other big investments that we're making here in the future. But this is one that we just got up and running and we're quite proud of. So uh, Gary, not to put you on the spot, but we mentioned a lot vertical integration and what we do. And guys, this isn't rehearsed in any way. Um, this is literally me sitting down here with um, the iPhone. <laughs> Completely. Seat. Yeah, literally. In fact, I'll prove it to you. There's me sitting in Gary's office with my iPhone. So there's no rehearsal, it's just chatting. So Gary, we talk a lot about vertical integration in, as being one of the unique selling points of our business. Uh, can you give these guys a quick 
run down on why vertical integration, well, first, what is it and why is it you important? Bet. Vertical integration gives you the ability to control the supply chain. As you guys know, the supply chain for us starts, let's take aloe, at the plantation. If we didn't have our own fields, you don't know if they're using pesticides, herbicides, what quality of aloe, if they're harvesting it too early, too late in the, in the lifespan of the aloe. We uh, obviously, having been doing this for you know, numerous years, we understand aloe. We know the right time to harvest it. We know the age of the aloe, when to pull it out of the ground and start putting it into the products. Um, it gives you the ability to control that entire process rather than going out and buying it from someone else. Then obviously you have other raw materials that come into effect. Um, as you go through the vertical integration process, you, contain, you maintain control, most importantly, of quality and also price. Those are the two biggest factors. Uh, as you guys know, we will never compromise on quality, and hence one of the reasons Rex has made some massive investments uh, in our vertical integration. But also price is key, because if we are going out and buying all these things from outside suppliers, obviously they have their markup. And every time it gets marked up, the price to you as an FBO goes up. The price to your customers, your retail customers go up. And obviously we are, are committed to giving you a quality product, but also we wanna make sure that it's at a fair price. Ultimately, if it's a quality product, but it's too expensive, you're not gonna sell it. It doesn't benefit you. If you don't sell it, it doesn't benefit us as a company and we all suffer. And so the vertical integration gives you the control of quality and the control of price. And that's the main reason Rex not only as you can see here that we're going through that process, but has actually been doing going, building that process and that supply chain for years and years and years. So why, if it's so important, why, why don't other companies do it? Uh, you know, honestly, it's because they're not willing to invest. Um, you know, you, you take Rex, for instance, and you, have, you make profits as a company. You can pull those out and go spend them yourself, or you can reinvest it mm -hmm. and reinvest it in the quality of your product, the control of your product, um, keeping the prices down to your end users, but uh, it comes down to, in, in my opinion, Aiden, it comes down to priorities. Yeah. What are your priorities? Is it me as the owner, or is it the people that I'm working with, our FBOs? We always have trouble putting that across, you know, and these new companies come on and they, you know, they, they buy a third party product, they throw a label on it, and they put it out, and, and it, we always have to sort of deal with that every time the new guy comes along and say that, you know, that we've invested you know, probably hundreds of millions into, oh, you know, completely. building the supply chain because we care about it. Well, and the other side of that is, if I go out and I buy a third party product and slap a label on it, someone else in the market is probably selling that same product yeah. with a different label on it. Yeah. Um, this way we can make sure that our products are unique, um, that they are top quality, that they actually have selling points that are above and beyond the competition because someone else isn't out there selling the exact same carbon copy of uh, our product. We don't, we have a much more long-term mindset too. Completely. You know, we don't need to make our money overnight. Yep. You know, Rex has made his money and the company is, has enough money, so we're, we're building tomorrow, right? Well, and that goes back to what I said about priorities. You know, is it a, and I hate to say get rich quick for whoever the owner is, you know, where he wants to go out and buy this nice yacht and, you know, whatever it may be, or, is it invest into the long term, the, the uh, longevity of the company? And obviously, guys, being around for, you know, going on nearly on 40 years, um, we are here for the long term. And, and those of you that have been around forever, you know that. You've seen it, you felt it, and uh, you've seen the commitment of Rex. Absolutely. Well, Gary, I know you got a lot going because we're leaving to, when are we leaving tomorrow or the next day? Saturday morning, bright and early, we'll be flying over to Greece. Which on our way, about. yeah. So thanks, bud. Hey, you're welcome, guys. Appreciate your time. So you yeah. got to meet. Uh, Gary Shreve, everybody, and those that are going to the EMR, we'll get to see a little bit more of Gary. Uh, let's whiz around here. I just saw uh, Emma Cooper said hello, by the way, Gary. Tell what? Emma hello. Look forward to seeing her. One of our GLT. Oh, and here is our, one of our very special, in fact, this is Rhiannon. Now, what's important about Rhiannon is she looks after Gary, but also she is the GLT liaison. Yes, ambassador. Ambassador, yeah, that's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, I like yes. that. So, do you like it here? I love it. Yeah? Yes. So especially are, my boss. Hey, did you hear that, Gary? <laughs> did I give a good shout out? Yeah, she says, I love it here, especially my boss. What is the best thing about Forever? Besides the FBOs? 
Oh. Save the FBOs. Hey, Emma Cooper says, we love you, Rihanna. Oh, thank you, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> I love the GLT. Everybody needs to be a GLT so I can help you and work with you. There you go. Oh, man, you're so good at this. <laughs> <laughs> see you, Ray. Oh, are you going to Greece? I'm going to Greece. I'll when are you see going? You there. I leave next Thursday. Oh, yeah? Cool. Yes. All right, let's have a look who else is going in through here as I walk through. Who's that? Hi. Do you recognize Amy <laughs> as our social media? A quick look here. Say hi, Dan. There you go. That's Dan Schwartz. He's our compliance officer. Um, this is Jess. Hi, hi. Jess is in charge of our North American marketing. Hi, Jess. Good to see you. <laughs> and we'll go into Ash's office right here. Nice, tidy. Ash is the director of marketing. What are you working on, Ash? I am working on a few last minute things for EMR and some new product stuff. I made sure I turned it all over before you came in. I heard you coming. Um, so yeah, just getting all ready for the event and all the exciting things that will be coming next year at Rally as well. My gosh, everyone is so beautiful, says Emma Cooper. Oh, Emma Cooper. Oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We are beautiful. So, so, um... Ash, give these guys some secrets. Tell them something that they secrets. don't know. What's this here I can tell them on? some of your secrets. Uh, we are looking into some uh, technology solutions to help with the FIT program. Just looking into potentially some digital app solutions and, and figuring out how those can fit in with the program. So you're working on a, a, a FIT app? I am. Clean 9 app? Clean 9, F15, and Vital 5, hopefully all three. They're going to love that. But I hope so. When do you think we'll be ready? Uh, we're shooting for something for a rally, but we're just trying to find the right vendor to build it in the right timeline at the right cost right now to make sure that it really is the right tool for our FBOs. We should try and get some feedback because it is killer expensive, isn't it? It is it killer expensive. Yeah, the, to make this app is unbelievably expensive, and so we're struggling now to try and find an option that is more cost effective. So if it's something that you're really interested in, let us know um, because we need to sort of balance the cost of it with the demand for it. Absolutely. Do you like working here? I love working here. What's the best thing about Forever? Eight or no hair. Amen. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> well done. Um, I think for me, the best thing about Forever is that it's challenging, um, but it's also rewarding. I love um, coming to the events and seeing our FBOs or interacting with them on social and just knowing how what we do here really makes a difference. And I think that that is something that we feel here at the home office is that we need to get it right um, for you guys at home so that you can build the best businesses you can take care of your families put food on the table um, So I love that feeling. I love feeling like what I do um, Has a greater connectivity and to be able to see it pay off is just really amazing um, I was trying to think of how to word that question What's the most challenging thing about working here? <clears throat> Aiden O'Hare <laughs> <laughs> uh, You teed that one right up for me. Um, I think it's challenging because sometimes we have to try to find um, fast solutions to complex problems and I think that we have to be really cognizant of, of the fact that there are people on the other end of it so it's not as easy as oh we can just you know drop this or oh never mind we won't do that um, it's really making sure that we're creating the right tools and so the complexity and some of the challenge there can be quite difficult um, but again I think we're really passionate about getting it right um, so the difficulty never lasts too long because we, we find the right solution even if it's the hard one um, and get, get the work done. Perfect. I'd love okay. to talk to you forever, but the battery will go and these guys' okay. time will run out. <laughs> but say hi. We'll see you in Greece. Yep, we'll see you guys in Greece. All right. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. All right. As we work our way down the office, you'll see. So let me see if I can give you a look. So this is kind of like the, um, the guts of our company. All of these guys here are the ones that are working hard to make sure you have the right product in the right place at the right time. And what you're seeing is a third of, of the people that work here because there's three sections in the building that look quite like this. These are the North American guys. Say hi, everyone. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good, good to see you. We walk through here. These are the accounts people. Moving further down here. Let's have a little look who's here. This mess of an office here. Gotta be careful on this one. Let me just make sure. Look at this. Bum, 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 bum. So look at all this. This is all of this is Holly's office, and Holly, as you know, is our director of product development. She's actually in France today, um, doing a um, some presentations. So 
she's the one that works in all the offices. This, oh, she's cleaned up her mess. This is Natalie, wonderful Natalie, as you all know from um, our events. She has a fantastic job. And we'll come down here and let's look over the top of here. There she Hello. is! <laughs> Millie, we're doing this again. And we're doing it again. Oh, How's no. it going? Is this going to be like a weekly thing? They have to walk around with my phone in my hand? Uh, maybe it will be. What are you working on, Mill? Um, I'm currently working on training for all our lovely GLT and FBOs that will be giving you awesome revolutionary training in Greece. So Revolutionary? <laughs> I think it will. I love be. that word. <laughs> It'll be amazing and hopefully change businesses for the best. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So Millie's part of our, our events team. Yeah. Now look over here. Look at the poor wireless connection. Dawn, what are you doing? See that person standing up there on a chair? That's Dawn. She works in our accounting department and she's the one that works on all the finances of Forever Giving. Yeah, hey Dawn, say hi. <laughs> See, I'm filming you guys having a chat. Come on, don't be shy. You guys are like prairie dogs. <laughs> hey, just just cut one through. We don't care. We'll hear like, Dawn, how's things with Forever Giving? Great. Great. Good. Yeah. We need some more money coming in, though, right? Perfect. Awesome. I don't know if you guys heard Dawn that she said that we're working on a new payment portal through Stripe to be able to, to uh, donate more money to Forever Giving, which we use to help the kids. Now, you all know this kid. All right, mate. Hello. There he is, <laughs> big Nicky. Nicky is working on, oh, he's got nothing to do today because uh, Nick is the one that's in charge of, um, uh, my gosh, you're getting loads of love hearts, mate. Yeah, bring it on, guys. Yeah, bring it on. <laughs> so Nick is in charge of our events, all of our events globally, and he is a master at uh, making events fantastic. So obviously you're working on Greece. All about Greece. It's what? the last, last day in the office today. So we're pulling together, it's 28 hours of training in total. Are you kidding me? Uh, right now I'm just working on, look at this. Let's have a little look. This is a little insight. We're... The fantastic Jane Leach uh, is going to do a, a two-hour session on how to make the most of the First Steps to Manager program. Um, so you'll get nobody has seen these slides yet. So not even Jane. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> she might be on there saying, "Hey, oh, yeah, yeah. change those." <laughs> so cool. this is going to be a super powerful session. Um, you all should know First Steps to Manager. But what this will do, and this is from the horse's mouth, because Jane was instrumental in creating the First Steps to Manager program. So this will give you an insight in, on how to use it properly and effectively to build your businesses. And we're also just finishing off a new video, which we're gonna, do we, do we play a bit? What do you think? A little bit, a little bit. So this is gonna open the Eagle Manager tree, so again, big exclusive. And it's called 100% or nothing. So mate, what else are you planning? Um, we're working on this event over here right now. There we go. Dubai Global Rally 2017. Yeah, there is so much going on for that and a lot of uh, surprises. Um, I can't tell you everything, but one thing you must do um, is qualify Chairman's Bonus because we've got a huge upgrade for you if you're Chairman's Bonus qualified. Um, that all will be revealed at some point. Um, we've just announced um, on the Wednesday of the Global Rally Week, we're all going for our activity day to Atlantis, Dubai. Yeah. So um, those of you that know that, it's uh, you, amazing water parks, amazing hotel right at the end of the Palm. Uh, if you know that Dubai area, it's so picturesque. Um, you can, uh, for the whole day, we've got a private beach just for forever living qualifiers. Uh, so make sure you qualify. Uh, you can use all the facilities, go to the aquarium. We're going to provide you with lunch. We're going to provide you with towels. We're going to take care of that whole day. So that's a major upgrade. Uh, we're also working on 2018 in... No, no, no. I was just about to go. <laughs> right. Hey, let's have a look here. So everyone says that Nick works hard, but can you get out of this door? <laughs> I wish I had to go. Look, look at, look, look at this outside Nick's office. So anyone that says, if it, Nick ever says, you know, it's hard work, <laughs> you can say whatever, Nick. Look at that, that's Nick's view. So you can have a little look at the back door here. There we have these, um, what do you call these? Verandas? Verandas? Patios? 
Beautiful. And then you can look a little bit more. Doesn't it look I spend most of my time out here, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Especially now, the weather's changed. Right. So a little look outside the, the office door. Thanks, Nick. Thank you. Good luck, guys. Good luck yeah, for Greece, and we'll see you soon, mate. We'll see you over there. Thank you. Okay, we better hurry up. Now these guys are going to run out of time. So I'm going to race through the back of the office here. Oh, where are you going? Everyone's running their way, look. Heather, what are you working on? Um, lots of deposits. <laughs> lots of deposits? Yes. So what, what do you do for us? A lot of everything. Um, I work with a lot of the resort properties uh -huh. um, and all of their financial things that they send in every month and get those into our software so that all the accountants can work on all of their stuff. Um, I do all of the bonus check reissuing for all of you people that have misplaced all of your bonus checks or lost <laughs> them or whatever happened to them. Um, so, yeah. How long have you been with us? Five years. Five years just, already, just huh? Just the, the other day, it was five years. Did you get your little thing? Not yet, not the next luncheon. The next luncheon, you'll get your five years, huh? Yeah. Well, good for you. Yeah, Thanks thank for all your you. hard work. Thank you. Everyone's giving you lots of love hearts, so I think that means something good. Oh, good, right? yeah. Well, thanks, guys. See you, Dawn. Hey, look, there she is. I keep losing the Don't signal. look at my mess. My look, chaos. Everyone, look at her mess. My look. chaos. <laughs> That's not chaos. <laughs> And we run through all these great people's space. I'm going to run out of battery here, so... Oh, look, there's Carrie that's been trying to run away from the camera all day. <laughs> Carrie, how long have you been here? Uh, 13 years, almost 14. Oh, yeah. 13 years. Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. We love you, too. Thanks. Isn't Kate, uh, Carrie got the biggest smile I've ever seen? <laughs> you can always see her smile about half an hour before she arrives. So. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Thanks. We're in a hurry. Barb, how long have you been here? 30 years. 30 years? <laughs> yeah. 30 years? Are you kidding me? Look at that. It's legit. <laughs> it's legit. Do you like it here? Love it. Yeah. Well, good Love for you. It. Thanks for everything. Thank you. Oh my God. Debbie, you must have just started here. Yeah. How long have you been here? Um, two months. Yeah. I was going to say, you know why I knew that? Because look at Debbie's name tag. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't give you an official one yet? No, nope, They're working on it. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you like it here? So far, so good. Where did he come from? Um, I was at GoDaddy for a year. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Just for a year? Yes. You didn't like it there? Mm, different environment. <laughs> <laughs> We're glad you're with us. All right. All right. Have a great day. Thank you. All right, guys. We got we got. Oh, hey. Is that Judy? Let's show Judy. Let's say hi to Judy. Oh, she's not there. Carol. How long have you been with us? Oh. About 25 years. 25 years. It's all right. Just, just wave. Okay. Just wave. There you go. She's been here 25 years. Judy's been here for like 107 years, right? So. <laughs> Say hi to Michelle, it's not there. Okay, here we go. I don't know if you guys want to see this. Sorry it's taking so long, but it's good to say hi to these people. Here it is, guys, the very famous Hall of Flags. I know a lot of you would love to come and visit us and see this. And remember, our door is always open. We have what we call an open door policy here in Forever where you can come and visit any time that you want. Uh, just come in, come upstairs, and we'll find someone to give you a tour around. This is, this is your building as much as it, is, is it, as it is ours. And we'd love to see you here taking a picture with your flag. Look at this jade horse right here. Isn't that pretty? I can't remember when we got that, but I think it was about, 50, no, it's probably 20 plus years ago. Crazy that, isn't it? I love that piece. So here's our flags. Now, I've got to be honest when I tell you this, is we don't have every country's flag up here anymore because uh, we ran out of space. As you can see, as the company grew, we sort of ran out of space, but it is representative of about 90 plus percent of the companies that we're doing business in. So you're walking on, so here you are, virtual tour of our Hall of Flags. But make sure you put yourself here one day. We'd love to have you. Oh, there's Judy. We were just saying hi to your empty cube. Some more flags. Judy, I'm talking to the world here on Facebook Live. How long have you been with us? 36 years. <laughs> 36 years. Now, those of you who have seen, um, what was that video? The Rex video that we will show at the, the rally. You were in that when we were over down in Tempe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sitting when on the reception. in the front lobby and I'm at the front desk. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, you, have you enjoyed your 36 years so far? Oh, tremendously. Not, what have ready, you... not ready to leave either. No, ma'am. What have you learned? <laughs> Um, 
Well, just seeing the growth of the company. Um, when I started, we had just opened up Canada. We weren't even in any other country. Uh -huh. um, to see expand as far as employees, it's just, it's been a great adventure. It's yeah. been wonderful. Awesome. Well, we love you. And what are you doing for us now? Right now, I'm in compliance. Uh huh. So, anything internet compliance, I handle. I work <laughs> under Dan. Uh huh. Sure. It's like um, whacking moles, internet compliance, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of fun, though. It's, it's rewarding. Yeah. We got a new tool that we were working on yesterday. Have you seen that yet? No. It's called Field Watch or something. It was really interesting. So, oh, okay. yeah, we just had a meeting on it yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. It's well, pretty. I look forward to You'll it. love it. I've been on vacation, so. Yeah, I would love it. Okay, so here we go. This is what we call the executive area. I'll we'll take you for a quick look in here. Pretty cool, huh? Our big, beautiful eagle right here. And let's say hi. This is Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi. How are you? Good. Sarah looks after Latin America and North America. Yes. How long have you been with us, Sarah? Um, eight years. Eight years? You enjoyed eight it? Eight years, yes. Yes, yeah. definitely. What's it's the best thing about Forever? Um, just the people, the distributors. They're always smiling. They're always in a positive mood, and we just love them. You, um, you all know Sarah because she does all our events. Mm-hmm. I do. I know. Yes. We love you having you there. Thanks, Sarah. Hi. Sorry we can't stay. We're running out of time, and I'm definitely running out of battery. This is Garen's office. You know Garen Breinholt, the guy in charge of the Americas. See, he's burning his essential oils like you all should be. You can always smell the essential oils as you walk around the office. They, they smell great. And uh, this is RJ's. I'll give you a quick look around. RJ is the uh, company secretary and our, our chief counsel. Beautiful, beautiful office here, right? Here's RJ's office. And then we'll come out here. And take you, show you a quick look at the uh, the beautiful boardroom that we have. Here we go. Put the lights on. It's a quiet day here today because we uh, everyone's leaving for the um, Eagle Manager Retreat. So here we go. Isn't that cool? Make sure you come here, take a picture. Yes, you can sit here, and yes, that is Rex's seat right there. So you can sit in his seat and take a picture. Um, and this may not look like much to you guys, but I promise you on that piece of that board there We have worked on just about every single company policy every single marketing plan machination that you can imagine um, So a lot of discussion goes on here. I'll show you some of the things that we have that we've collected over the years some awards and uh, our fabulous bear from um, Japan and this is one of my favorites right here if you can see that that piece right there from Thailand, isn't that beautiful? So, okay. I know you guys got to go, so I'm kind of racing through. I hope you don't mind uh, going a bit fast. For all my Scandinavian friends. So every gift that you give ends up in one of these. That was a gift that the Scandinavians gave to Rex at the, the rally um, when we had it over in um, uh, Copenhagen. And Horst Kelm. We'll recognize that. Horst is the Liechtenstein cow that uh, he gave to us a little while ago. And I'll take you into Rex's office here real quick. Say hi to Lorraine. Hi, everyone. How's your day going? Excellent. Yeah? Always excellent. You getting ready? Yes. Okay, this is Rex's office. There's a beautiful office here in the corner. You can have a good look around. Rex is a very avid collector of books, and especially books by um, Zane Gray and this guy, Robert Louis Stevenson from, from Scotland. So this is Rex's office. Always reading, constantly reading, constantly researching, constantly working on new ideas. Um, quick look out of his office window. There you go. Perfect. Well, guys, we've attempted to give you a, a little look around forever day. And, and as you can see, it wasn't prepared. It wasn't planned. And we do that on purpose because we want you to see how it really is. It's important that you understand that the company is 
Uh, it's run by people who care. They do, we do our very best every single day for decades to, the, to make this the best opportunity we can for you. I hope that uh, you've got to see a little bit. And maybe it's triggered some of you to say, you know what, I'm going to go visit there. Remember, our office is always open for you to come visit. You don't have to be invited. Um, it doesn't have to be any kind of um, incentive. You can just maybe work it into a holiday or a vacation that you have over here. You're always welcome. Uh, we are going to be working on some things in the future that will enable you to come and visit us maybe a little bit more often, um, which we'd love to do that. But right now we've got the EMR coming up in Greece. We're very excited about that. In fact, uh, we all leave in a couple of days to do that. We love this company and we, we, do, we devote our lives and, and what we do to make it better each day. We're not perfect. There's a lot of things that we're working on and that we make mistakes just like everyone does. Um, but I can guarantee that we're trying our best to get it right. We're proud of you. We appreciate all of your hard work, your effort, your sacrifice, and we recognize that it's, it's not easy to do what we do, especially in those dark moments when maybe someone doesn't show up at a meeting that promised they would or someone lets you down. That's the time when you really need to be a true leader. We need to say, you know what, you've got to dig deep and you've got to face into the wind and, and move forward and, 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 and drive through the issues. We've seen ups and downs for a time and forever. There's been great moments. There's been not so great moments. But one thing that we always have been, and we always hope that you will be as steady as she goes, continue to work, continue to push forward. Um, it's vital that you understand that what you're building is a legacy, is something for the future. And, and that's how we view things in forever. We try to build things that have, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 year, um, uh, what do you call it, lifespans. We're, we're not interested in the immediate gain. Um, and sometimes that frustrates some people and we recognize that that makes us a little bit um, seems sometimes not as fast as you'd like it to be, but be patient. Success takes time to build. We have to mature into our success. Um, I want you to know we care about you. We appreciate each one of you, and we look forward to you. And, and if you want, give us a call. We're always available to help. Do the best that we can. Uh, be, chat with your upline. And, and remember one thing that Rex always says to us is don't give up what you want most for what you want now. And that's the policy at Forever, and, and, and that is we want you to have, be able to have a legacy opportunity that builds um, a business for a lifetime for you. So we appreciate you. I hope this has been fun. I hope you've enjoyed it as uh, much as we've enjoyed spending some time with you. We will be doing more of these, um, not necessarily tours around the office, but we'll definitely, when Holly gets back, do some product training um, and, and stuff like that. Um, and if you have any questions, um, let us know and we, we can post the answers on, on our social media. You can find us at, um, uh, like Amy said, at Forever Global HQ uh, in most of the handles. You can find me usually at Aiden O'Hare. It's just at Aiden O'Hare on Instagram or at Aiden O'Hare on. It looks like I'm losing. And they're typically the ones that I use the most. So we're always there. And also Aiden O'Hare Forever Europe on, um, on that's my Facebook uh, page. So we love you guys. We appreciate it. Have fun. I hope you've enjoyed it. And again, any questions, let us know. Good luck. See you soon.